Hello and welcome to this new tutorial in the list dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 board in an easy way. In this video, we will see together how to save sensors data inside a file that we can open with the Excel. The format is called the CSV. Basically, the computer will run as a server waiting for any request. The ESP32 is a client and will send a HTTP request containing a data. When the server receives the data, it will be stored inside a CSV file. For the server-side programming, we will use Python. If you are a beginner with this programming language, I invite you to see a playlist that I created to program Python in blocks. Now I will start with the Python program. Make a zoom of 90% to view all the blocks. Here, I will make my computer run as a server and uh, listening uh, to port uh, 8080. You need to know the IP address of uh, your computer. This block will handle the incoming request. I will store it inside a variable. This block will delete the unuseful part inside the request and keep only the data. Now I will display the data to be stored. Now I will create a variable to hold the, uh, the data uh, file. I choose here append so every time I receive a new information I will add it uh, to the end of the file. The extension of the file should be CSV. Now I will write inside the file. The different fields should be separated by a semicolon. To start a new line, add this slash n. In the end, I need that to close the file. Now we are ready to run the file. I already installed the last version of Python.
I got this error because I did not copy properly the IP address of my uh, computer. Now I will try to send some requests from my computer. Here I sent several requests without any errors. Now I will open the ES CSV file and as you can see the data was stored. Now we will uh, see more the uh, programming of the ESP32. First I will uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network using a template. Before sending the request, I need to connect to the server on the chosen port. This block will allow me to send the request. The message should be in a string format. In this program, I will send a random number between 0 and 100. After selecting the number, I will put it inside a string variable just to convert it and to not have any error.
Now we are ready to upload uh, the program. As you can see, the ESP32 board is sending the data to the server, and on the other side, we are receiving uh, the data. And here you can see that my file was filled with this random data. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.